So guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Handy Andy, the name you can trust of ASM Property Services. ASM being my initials. Now, we're on his way to a job and if you hear me van beeping, it's not about to blow up. You can probably see behind me there is a Christmas tree hung up because it is December. We're about, what, 10 days away from Christmas now, I think. Christmas Day. This is one of my last jobs of the year, so I'm decorating a dining room basically. And what we're doing is uh, need to patch some wallpaper in where they've removed radiators of the customer. They've started the job and decided they can't do it. They've bitten off more they can chew. And they have removed the radiators only to find out that the wallpaper behind had hadn't been done so whoever decorated it before had not wallpapered behind it so i've noticed that the brackets are on the wall already so we'll be removing the brackets uh, they have been papered around now my opinion and i may get some criticism for this is that if you're going to decorate a wallpaper then remove your radiators or get somebody to do it because it's not hard to do it definitely makes the job look a lot better especially when the wallpaper starts peeling off behind the radiator because there's, there's just not enough surface for it to grip to so that being said it's like I said just now if you can't do it yourself get somebody to do it find someone like me who, who does that kind of stuff that the hangman work with them work work and you work better with yourself then um, you'd be getting somebody else another job for one thing and another thing is your customer will probably appreciate you more that you know somebody who can do that if you can't do it but I, I have actually seen this and I don't know why this happens but I have actually seen decorators remove radiators but they can't put them back it's not difficult to take one off and put it back again something in that I think I don't know what it is also the same with curtain poles I'm constantly putting curtain poles back on the wall. They seem to be removing them and not putting them back. And a lot of it's because they're too lazy or they can't be bothered. I don't know. No to do with me. That's their business, not mine. If I get a job out of it, then obviously I'm making a living out. So I shouldn't really complain too much about that. But it's kind of one of the things when I get asked to do decorating, I'm there doing it all, all the time. You know, but there you go. Um, what, can, what was I saying now? Oh yeah, oh yeah, paper in behind radiators. So on this job we have to put some more paper in because they've, they've tried to remove the bits that are loose and obviously it's, it's made a mess of the wall. So we're going to put some new pieces in, pieces of lining paper to bring the level out to the, the old lining paper. Now some would say, well why don't you just strip it and redo it because we haven't got time, we don't want to do that. We can, we can patch up what we have. The wall is going to have a feature wall anyway, so it's going to be papered over anyway. Once it has a, a nice good sand as well, it'll need a good sand, I think. So we'll get that sorted. But in this video, I will be holding the camera and I'll be doing a voiceover rather than talking my way through it. Because I, I, literally, if I don't do it that way, the camera won't be able to see you, won't be able to see what, what I'm doing anyway. So I'm using the laser level today so that I can get get the um, edges straight and a nice square because I want to do it in a square so that being said we're going to crack on with the rest of the video now you're going to see bits and pieces of what I'm doing and hopefully you'll get something out of it so like I've said before thank you for subscribing to the channel it's much appreciated don't forget to buy me a coffee if you wish um, don't have to do but there are people who are buying me coffees so thank you very much it is appreciated especially this time of year when it's minus three we are not living in the Antarctic this is Yorkshire and it is well it's actually minus one at the moment but I'm assuming that that's the engine heat going onto the sensor of the van but um, it is actually minus three I've heard in parts it's freezing fog and there's ice on the road I know that much so anyway that's beside the point check out the rest of this video don't forget to like and subscribe 
see so yeah, I'm on the job I've set the laser level up there so we're going to cut a square out of this old lining paper this is where the radiator has been you can still see the brackets on the wall there and there are the radiators that the customer removed all by themselves aren't they clever so I'm basically doing it so that I can cut a square out and then put more wallpaper in it so some of the joints will be right behind the radiator I've got my lining paper here now this is 2000 grade lining paper don't know whether that'd be thick enough it feels about the right I took a little bit of piece off so as you can see I've cut the section off there I've scraped a lot of the wallpaper off spraying it with water and then using a scraper you've got a nice neat edge doing it level so it gives you something to work to I've removed the brackets with the radiators off so they're off now as well and what we're going to do is, is obviously paper over them and find the screw wall so we know where they go got some paper ready to hang here left it soaking bucket of paste so what I'm going to do is brush some paste in to the edges and this will help soften the old paper as it's very difficult to get off with this but it'll also help stick the edges down as well with the new paper you got a little bit of new plaster here as well as some magnolia paint on the wall so I'm just going to brush, brush some paste into the, to the edges there you see right down to the bottom I've left the screws in for one side of the brackets you don't need to put them both in or if you want to you can do but you can level it up with the bracket once you get the, the bracket back on once you've done you can level the other bracket up So if you do the same at the other side, put the screws in, you can find the holes for where the brackets need to go. So this is my straight edge, I've already put a piece of wallpaper on. I've overlapped it at the top but I'm using the laser level to help guide it to level it up. So we're aiming for the exact place of the edge of the paper that I've just cut off. Now that might surprise some people but that's exactly what I'm doing. I've butted it up to the other edge. Nice and level there you see. All you need to do is, is massage the paper into the gap. Now you could just fill this after if you wanted. We are papering over this with a feature wall so it'd probably be better filled in. And then all we need to do is cut the bottom off. Now this is the other piece I've put in. I've cut it off at the top and down the sides as well I've butt it up to the sides and what we're going to do is because I've overlapped it onto the new piece at the left hand side you can't quite see the joint on the camera but yeah we're just going to put a bit of filler in there it's just run off a little bit on the knife so all I'm going to do is put my straight edge on that and I'm going to run the knife down and this is going to create a splice in the paper so I'm just holding that roll up to see where it is you should be able to see the edge where it's overlapped anyway but what, you, what you're aiming for now is, is somewhere in the middle of it run the knife down the straight edge and then all you need to do is pull the pieces of paper off that you've cut you make sure that the knife is into the plaster work and then you'll have a nice neat edge you shouldn't be able to see it because it'll just create a nice paper joint there you see me putting the screws back in the holes Because I left the screws in and, and, and marked them out on the paper I know where they are now so it makes it easier to put the brackets back on and then the radiators will just sit on once I've leveled the brackets up 
and the job's a good one. So there you go, that's how you do it. This is me, just showing you now, I've put the level back on, it's all nice and level, is that, uniform, nice neat job there, brilliant when it's finished.